So just eight races today then from Cheltenham on the final day. I'm going to take you through the first four. And then Stu will take you through the final four of the festival. I'm going to start off with the Triumph Hurdle. Two more juvenile hurdle course. The four-year-olds, Creative Force at the top, David Hooley. Holcomb Highness, David, Derek Hinton. Scampetta, Paul Rhodes. Sibford Ferris, Darren Thompson. Coolest Quest, Martin Leadham. Likes it like that, Joshua Sutherland. Milau, Craig Beckwith. And Rune Hunter for Leon Van Rensburg. A field of just eight. And away they go. And Holcomb Highness burst straight out into the lead in the Derek Hinton Silks with Sibford Ferris in second and then Rune Hunter call his questions after that one then Scampetta and likes it like that with Milau and Creative Force just the back two so Holcomb Highness in front gets to the first it was a long old run to the first of the seven which they're all safely over and Scampetta has settled into second Sibford Ferris third, coolest quest is fourth. The ground conditions have put one or two people off in this race. Namely Mr Grey, who told me that his horse would beat mine in the triumph hurdle, running backwards, or something like that, but it's not even here. There's Holcomb Highness in the lead. Scampetta second, Sibford Ferris is third. Then Rune Hunter fourth, and coolest quest in fifth. We likes it like that, creative force, and Milau. Just the back marker as they step over the second. They're quite well strung out. And Holcomb Highness has not been hanging about. Scampetta has gone with it at this point. A gap of three lengths then to Sibford Ferris in third. Rune Hunter in fourth as they get over the third. And let's call this quest. And now just drops to the back. It's one of the ones that is proven on the ground as well. So it's Scampetta and Holcomb Highness getting over the fourth from... Sibford Ferris in third, and Creative Force is fourth. Moon Hunter on the inside is fifth, and then Milau. And call this quest has gone past, likes it like that. The nose banded Joshua Sutherland horse as they make their way towards the third from home already. They're inside the final mile, and over it they go. And it's Scampetta who scampered into the lead from Holcomb Highness in second, and then Sibford Ferris back in third. With Creative Force and Rune Hunter. And Coolest Quest likes it like that. And Milau. Holcomb Highness then in front. By about a neck. To Scampetta in second. Sibford Ferris third. A good gap of four lengths then. To Rune Hunter and Creative Force. Coolest Quest likes it like that. And Milau. I've got plenty of work to do at the moment. As they race into the final five furlongs. And head towards the final two flights. And Holcomb Highness has kicked on into the lead again. And he's gone too clear of Sibford Ferris in second, Scampetter in third, they scamper over the second last flight, and Holcomb Highness is still in the lead with four furlongs to go from Sibford Ferris in second, Scampetter in third, here comes Rune Hunter Creative Force also coming through with a run, likes it like that, he's trying to run on Milo and Coolest Quest, surely can't win it's Holcomb Highness who's clearing the lead but now being pressed by Creative Force and Creative Force comes to take it David Hoolin his champion hurdlers and all doing well, here comes Likes It Like That though on the outside, they come down towards the final flight then in the triumph and creative force is a length clear as they come to this final flight creative force now being pressed out by Sibford Ferris and Sibford Ferris for Darren Thompson sweeps into the lead and gets over it clear it's Sibford Ferris who's beginning to pull away this could be another one for Darren Thompson could it take him back to the top of the leaderboard it's Sibford Ferris racing up towards the line Sibford Ferris is going to take the Triumph hurdle from in second place. Creative force for David Hooley. It's going to be close for third between likes like that and Rune Hunter. Then Scampetta, Holcomb, Minus, Milo, and the bitterly disappointing call this quest at the back. And there is no stopping Darren Thompson. Oh, was a steward's inquiry though. He's already had one disqualified this week, which he didn't mind because he got the race because his other horse was second, but this time he's held on to the race in the stewards room so Sibford Ferris takes it for Darren Thompson creative force for David Hooley was second locks it like that Joshua Sutherland third Rune Hunter the Armand Rinsburg fourth and Scampetta for Paul Rhodes was fifth so Darren Thompson back to the top of the tree with five winners